Hello viewers, welcome to Home Tips with Mira. Home Tips with Mira, like you know, is all about learning home tips, DIYs, and quick home remedies. Today on the show, we are going to discuss something exciting, something interesting, and something new and fantabulous. Did you know that you can actually grow grapes here in Ghana? Yes, it is not usually the sweet type that you buy at the mall, supermarket, or on the streets. This type is different. It can adapt to our climate here in Ghana. So let's do a quick turn around and when we come back, I'll tell you all about how to get your grapes to grow and how to manage them and how to mm, get some fruits, whether sweet or sour, and enjoy it. I just want to ask you, what would be your reason for planting grapes? Is it to enjoy some fruits on it, whether sweet or sour? Or you just want it to be like a, a shade for your pergola that you have you know, built? If it is for a shade, then there's no need to prune all the leaves, you know, because then it means you're saying that hey, the, the sunlight should come in. But if it is for fruit purposes, you just have to prune it so that it can, the fruits can be exposed to the sunlight. That is what helps it to, you know, ripe. So you just have to cut and make way for the sunlight to hit directly on the fruit. In pruning the grapes, you have to make sure that uh, you cut the unnecessary vines. But make sure you don't cut the vine that has grape on it. So you have to check and you see this vine. I have grape on it, but this one, I don't. So. I'm just going to cut it. For planting grapes, it is a win-lose situation. You can't say that, oh, I want to save all my branches and still have effective yield. So whilst cutting, you see something like this. Look at this small vine. Okay, so they are all taking their energy from this source. So if these bunches are to ripe, you can definitely be sure that they are sharing the energy from just this single vine. And it is too much for the grapes. So when you see something like this, you have to just do away with one bunch. So here we are. I have to let it go. It's less fruit on it, so you can just cut it off. And then now it's left with two. So let's say that we can let this one also go. So you cut it and now all the energy will be sent into this bunch. Just give yourself like three months. You see that everything is grown again. But you see, after the fruits are ripe and you take everything off, in fact, you have to cut everything down and just leave the main vine as it is time for it to bear fruit again. You see that it will germinate and then, in fact, it can fill this whole place. So don't be afraid to prune your grapes. They are forgiving. So this is the end result of the pruning. I've taken the unnecessary vines and the leaves that were preventing the sunlight from reaching the fruits directly. And so this is what you can see. In fact, this is my first time of planting grapes. So let's see how it turns out. I'll bring you a feedback on that. After pruning the grapes, I told you that I'll bring you an update about how it turns out. So it's been exactly five weeks since we pruned the grapes. And now the fruits have ripened and they are purple grapes. So let's go and do some harvesting. Okay. Wow. So these are my purple grapes and they look so yummy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is that I'll just soak them in salt water for five minutes. We rinse and then we taste and then I'll give you a feedback. <laughs> okay, so I'm adding my salt into the water. You need to wash it with salty water so that if there are any living organisms on it, it can kill them. 
and then I take my grapes I'll soak them in the water for five minutes and then we'll see how it turns out So the grapes are ready. Now we are going to taste. You are invited. Okay. It doesn't taste too sweet. It tastes a bit sour. You can taste the acid in it. Actually, with this kind of grapes, what is supposed to you know happen with general grapes is that when it is ripening the acidic nature of it has to decrease while the uh, sugary content increases but this one is not like that it is a bit balanced you can still taste that it's a bit sweet and it's a bit acidic yeah but I, I I'm, I'm just loving it because it's organic it's pure it's homegrown and grapes contains antioxidants so I'm just enjoying eating my homegrown grapes mm, 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 mm. Mm. I'm just loving it this kind of grapes they do very well in any kind of soil so if, if, if you live in a home where you have a bare land, you can just get a cutting from those who sell flowers by the roadside, just ask of grapes and then if they have, get some and then plant it. So it takes between one year to three years for it to fully mature. And when it bears fruit, it takes about a month to two months for the fruits to ripen. These kind of grapes are the ones that are used to make wine because of its uh, acidic nature and its sharp taste. So they usually prefer to use this kind of grapes for wine. So if we can grow this kind of grapes here in Ghana and they can be used in wine making, what are we waiting for? You can just deseed the grapes and use the flesh as you know, jam, or you can just process it into a wine. You know, try your hands on something, experiment. But the idea that people thought that grapes can't do well in Ghana is, is a lie. This, these grapes, I grew them right here on my compound and they are doing so well. And one thing about grapes is that those of you also who have it, just bear in mind that when you have grapes, they need constant pruning, cutting off the excess branches. That is what will help the grapes to bear more fruits. And when they bear more fruits, because they are receiving enough sunlight, it will help the ripening process. And then it will also increase the sugary content inside. Please stay tuned and don't forget to watch Home Tips with Mira on this same channel. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Until then, it's bye-bye.